What we have here today is the DJI Goggles V2. So what I wanted to show in this video is a way to set up the goggles to go straight into analog as soon as you boot up. Uh, at the moment when you boot up, to get into analog mode you've got to go through the settings, go down to AV input and then select it and then it goes into that analog mode. It takes a bit of a, a few steps to get flying uh, just before flying so I just wanted to alleviate that and I saw on uh, WTF OS that it does have an option so if you have to root this goggle but once you root it, it does have an option that you can actually get straight into the analog uh, setup immediately straight up so you don't have to actually go and go through the menu so booting up straight into analog so I'll go through those steps later but I just wanted to show you that it does work I've got it to work here um, and I'll just boot it up like this and you'll have to wait to go through the whole sequence of boot up of course as usual but once you do go through that step instead of actually pressing the buttons up here to go through the menu it goes straight into analog so there is still that wait the usual wait that you have to go through but it does work all right so there you go i haven't touched the menu at all i don't know if you can see it through the uh, screen or through the camera there uh, hopefully you can see it kind of that that's analog static that you usually get so but it is playing right now and i hadn't touched the menu so it does work uh, and I wanted to go through the steps, uh, every single detail about the steps and going through rooting this goggle because this goggle wasn't rooted yet and I had to root it, uh, install WTFOS and then also install that package to allow for the analog to go straight into it. Uh, I think it's AV on startup. So there you go, it's something that works. It is a bit more convenient for me, it's much easier. I really enjoy it now, um, being able to go in and plug it in, get flying really quickly without the hassle of the menu. For those of you who aren't familiar with the setup that I've got here, I'll just run through the gear that I've got. I've got an analog adapter here, and I also do have an Eosheen Pro 58 that's on the front of this adapter. And what this adapter allows is to get the analog signal from the Eosheen Pro 58 here um, through to the analog input of the Goggles V2 and be able to fly FPV through the set, this set here on analog, basically for something like this, analog Tiny Whoop, it's a uh, Mobula 624 edition and it works quite well. Um, it's a little bit bulky, uh, there are different versions out there. Some have versions that are on the side here, you strap it to the side and you plug it in the same way like this. This one I thought I'd give it a try just to get it out from the side to the front here but it's a bit bulky, I might change it up but for now it works quite well. And uh, yeah, that's uh, my setup for flying analog. Okay, so over here on the computer, we'll jump over to the website fpv.wtf and it takes you to this page where it allows you to install WTF OS. This operating system, WTF OS, allows you to install the packages that gives you the special features that DJI didn't install onto the goggles by default. So these are the features that are things like the OSD for the Goggles V2 using the DJI Air units. Or the feature that I want is basically going automatically straight into the analog input of the goggles on boot up. But before we do that, we have to head over to this page here, WTF Butter, which will allow us to roll back our version, which my one is on 0606, to an earlier version so that we can actually root the device on the page that we just came from. So to do this, you're going to need a Windows or a Linux machine. But as you can see here, I'm on a Mac OS X and I'm going to need to jump over to my Windows machine and start going through the process there. So just going through the steps down here in the usage section, so for first time V2 goggles and since I've got the V2 goggles, I'll be going through these steps. So I'll be using this version here so I can go and downgrade and I'll do that now. So hitting this link here will download the package. And for now I'll just put it into my downloads folder and that's just the file name that I'll leave it as. Alright, so in Windows Explorer I'm just going to unzip this file. And as mentioned in the website, you've got to go to the readme.txt to see the instructions. So in the preparation section here, I'm going to have to, for Windows, uh, run the driver underscore installer.exe. Jumping back over to Windows Explorer, I'll run this now. Bit of a warning from Windows here, but I'm just going to run anyway because I trust these hackers. Okay, so the driver is installing now.
Alright, so it looks like it finished installing the driver, so I'll just continue now. So back over to the instructions, these are the next steps. So I'll have to have my device powered off, so that's the goggles, I'll leave them off. I'll launch the Windows RunMe.bat, then I'll power on the goggles and wait for the flashing to finish. So I have my device powered off and I'm going to launch the Windows-RunMe.bat file and then power on the device. So I'll go and do that now. I'll go over to the downloads folder where I have all the files. I've got Windows Run Me, so I'll just run that. Alright, so it's warning me here, Windows is trying to protect me, but I know who these hackers are. I think. I hope. Alright, please connect and power on your device. So I'm just going to plug it in to USB from the goggles. So USB C to USB standard. I'm just going to plug that in. And then I'll power on the device. Okay, so I've powered on the device and I've got a recording here of what's in the goggles as well, just to see what happens. And I'll just give it some time. Alright, so it looks like I'm stuck here with the waiting for DJI recovery device to enumerate. So I'm going to try a few things that they suggest here. One is to install the driver, but I've already done that. The next thing I can try is another USB cable or another port. So I'll go through some of those steps here. Okay, I'm just going to power down the device. What I'll do is I'll close this application. I'll run it again. And I'll power up the goggles again. Alright, so it looks like we've gone through. I've just had to change to another USB port. And hopefully it all works this time. Alright, cool. The flashing is complete and we can press any key to continue. So, okay, I think that's all done. And on the goggles there, it's just gone on to the DJI logo. So, we'll go on to the next step. Alright, so now that the goggles are rooted, I can go back to the WTF OS configurator and hopefully I can connect and install packages now. So let's give it a go or install WTF OS. Connect the rooted goggles, USB. So we'll connect the device. And it says here Pigeon. And I think those are the goggles. Alright, so device connected and it's checking for ADB. Not sure what that is, but we'll give it some time. Alright, so failed detecting ADB, please reroute your device. I guess that wasn't enough, and I'll have to go back and try to root them or reroute them. Not sure what's going on there, so let's go do some reading. So here we go. Go to fpv.wtf slash root to root the device. So I guess I haven't rooted it yet. Basically, I've only just reverted the firmware, so I'll go to this page here. Okay, so here's the root page, and I haven't donated yet. Uh, I probably will donate something, a small amount, after this. Uh, if everything works, I'll come back here and I'll donate. But I'm just going to go and I already paid here and root the device. So here we want to connect to this CDC serial and connect. Alright, so it looks like it's good and it's success, it's rebooting. I can I can see the goggles rebooting as well. Okay, so it says the signing server could not be reached. It might be down or your ISP might be blocking it. I'm not sure what's going on there. Okay, so I'm just going to try and power cycle the goggles, see if that helps. I've just turned it off, refresh this page, power it on again, just going to wait till the menu loads up, there we go, so I'm just going to root the device again and try it another time. Alright, so it looks like it got through that step of step 2 where it failed last time, but it got to this third one where it says patch failed, so p please power cycle, so we'll give that a go again. So I'm just going to power it down, power up the goggles again. Alright, so I'll root the device again, 
select the port and try again. All right, so I got through step three now. Hopefully it goes all the way through this time. All right, great. Your device has been successfully rooted. All right, so I'm just gonna jump back over to WTF OS configurator and hopefully I can, uh, it's still coming up with this error here. I'll refresh. All right, so it says here, it automatically connected. So successfully connected to your device. I'm not sure what this error is, but it says, don't worry. This is normal and can happen due to various reasons. So I'm gonna ignore this for the moment. Let's see if we can proceed and see if we can install some of the packages that we want. So down here, um, there's the repository index for the packages. Uh, I've already got my page open. So I'm not sure how to do this. So we'll see how by playing around with it. Uh, and the feature that I wanted out of all this is the AV in startup. So I wanted to boot directly to the AV in so I can get analog directly straight as uh, as soon as I boot up the goggles so we can give that a go I'll download this package and over in the downloads folder I have this uh, AV in startup .ipk file so I'm not sure what to do with that so I'm gonna go and have a look first and come back in a moment so I think maybe we have to install this WTFOS first so I'll give this a go install WTFOS Alright, so it looks like I had to do that attempt fix thing. Uh, so after doing that, it's come through the, with this here and the install WTFOS button is now enabled. So I'll install W. Okay, so I think it installed WTFOS now and it's rebooting the device. Okay, so since it's installed, I can hopefully go back to the home page and we have a package manager enabled here, so I don't have to go and download the files or anything. Let's give this a try. And the packages are here to install directly, so no need for downloading anything. I'll go over here, AV in startup, and this says automatically switch to AV in at startup. Has no effect on O3 mode, so I only need it in the um, the mode that uses the uh, Vista mode, I think it is. So I'll just go and install now. All right, so that's installed and I'll just test that out now, see if it all works. So I'll power down the goggles and power it up and hopefully it goes straight into the AV in mode. Okay, booting it up now and see how this works. All right, awesome, it works. So there you go, it booted up. It had the DJI logo for a second there, uh, but it went straight into the AV mode and I can get flying straight away. Uh, much faster than going through the menus because I have to wait for the menu to come up. Navigate my way through to the settings and the AV in and click on it and then have it show up. But now I can boot up and it goes straight into it. So it all works. I'm glad that all worked in the end. There are a few hiccups, but in the end, just uh, rebooting a few times and going through those steps uh, seems to have helped and I hope that the steps here that I went through in terms of not having to download the files and everything and just installing WTFOS and installing it via the package manager uh, it was fairly easy now I kind of get the idea I wanted to do this because not many other videos out there actually show the process end to end so there you go I hope it helps someone Okay, so there you have it. Those are the steps that I had to go through in setting the, all that up, rooting the device, installing WTFOS, and also installing the AV on startup plugin or package. So it works quite well, as I mentioned, and I do enjoy it. So it's a bit of a, a convenience thing that I had to get through, and I hope this helps someone out there. Uh, maybe you want to do that as well, or were interested or didn't even know about it. So I don't think I saw, have seen any of the other videos online that show you that this is a feature or something that you can install uh, but it is there and uh, I really enjoy it now so I hope it does help someone out there and I hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and cheers